Take a look at this. This is a scene from the Bollywood movie Didanada. But, if you were in Dubai in the UAE in April 2024, this might remind you of the extreme rains that took place. Usually, the UAE is considered very dry and it is said to receive less than 4 inches a year of rainfall on average. But, in the country, in just 24 hours, about 10 inches of rain was recorded. Yep. Extreme rainfall was said to be triggering the worst flooding seen in over 70 years in the UAE. And what was the role that climate change played in this? It's said that it did play a role, but it would take more time to ascertain its exact influence. Plus, it may be impossible to attribute any weather event just to climate change. But, what happened in Dubai is said to be consistent with the patterns of a world getting warmer. What's up? According to experts, as temperatures rise, so does the capacity of an atmosphere to hold moisture. Like, let's say you have a sponge and you want to see how much water the sponge could hold. Initially, the sponge is dry, just like the atmosphere in the UAE. Then, you start pouring water onto the sponge and it is able to easily soak up the water, because it's dry and can absorb the water. Similarly, the atmosphere could absorb moisture when it's hot and not saturated with water vapor. But the more water you pour onto the sponge, the wetter it gets. At some point, maybe, the sponge won't be able to soak up any more water and would get saturated. Similarly, the air would reach a max capacity to hold moisture. And that may be why the heavens opened up in the UAE. So, this deluge could be partly attributed to climate change and maybe, to some extent, the fact that the UAE is not humid. But, it's said that if people continue to burn oil, gas and coal, then the climate may get hotter and rainfall could get heavier. Plus, it's said that the UAE and Dubai, in particular, is built on sand, which is conducive to water absorption. But, there's said to be concrete and steel on top of that, which may have sealed the UAE's fate, in that case, because that meant that the sand was unable to absorb excess water, which may have led to more flooding. On top of that, there may be clogging in natural drainage systems due to trash. If something like this were to happen to India, where it's getting pretty hot, that could be worrisome. Especially since the cities seem to be overpopulated and where the drainage systems are deemed to be inadequate. Though, it's said that with high rainfall, even the best drainage systems could fall short. And low-income populations may be disproportionately impacted by something like this. There could be displacement and loss of livelihood because of this. But, in case climate change is inevitable, is it time to start talking about something like floating architecture solutions? Does that sound silly? That's the design and construction of buildings that are built on water surfaces. That could mean people would be able to live with rising water levels or floods. Could India have floating homes or schools or hospitals? Is it time for architecture companies and startups to start considering buoyant materials for construction? There's something called high-density polyethylene. Such big words, but it could help. What's interesting is that Dubai is seen as a beacon of innovation and modernity. So, this may be a reminder that no matter how advanced a city is, it may not be safe from the wrath of climate change. Is the time for prevention over? Should businesses start looking at solutions to live in a world irrevocably impacted by climate change? Is Dubai's flooding incident something solvable or is it time to get ready for a post-apocalyptic world?